Welcome to your new RKB Bearing Industries educational video, where we show the characteristics of the RKB Special Design Cylindrical Roller Bearings, which can fulfill many more than machine requirements that a conventional bearing design cannot properly meet. The RKB Bearing Industries Group produces cylindrical roller bearings in many designs, dimension series, sizes, as indicated in the RKB Products table available on our website. The main difference between them lies in the configuration of the flanges. The ISO compliant cylindrical roller bearings produced by RKB accommodate heavy radial loads and high speeds, covering most of the requirements in various standard and special industrial applications in severe or critical conditions. For the comparison, we have selected two basic designs of single row cylindrical roller bearing, with gauge and without gauge. Each of these bearings features different characteristics that make them suitable in specific applications. In this educational video, we'll present these features for two of our cylindrical roller bearings executions, Series 18 and 23, both in full complement and cage design. For heavy applications with important radial loads, RKB makes use of the carrying performances of the NCF design full complement cylindrical roller bearings. They have two integral flanges on the inner ring and only one integral flange on the outer ring to support axial loads acting in one direction and provide axial shaft location in one direction. On the flangeless side, there is a retaining ring that holds the bearing assembly together. The permissible axial displacement is designed to permit axial displacement of the shaft in relation to the housing as a result of thermal expansion on the shaft to be accommodated in the bearing. In order to increase the carrying capacity, the guiding cage was removed to allow for a larger number of rollers to be inserted. Thanks to this configuration, the bearing will support higher radial loads and will stand up for high magnitude shock loads providing good values for the static safety factor condition. During operation, the number of contact bodies is increased, generating a bigger amount of heat and thus reducing the limiting speed by half, compared with caged bearings. In order to reduce the friction on elements and extend bearing life or reliability by supporting better tribology conditions in harsh environments, we make use of a special anti-wear treatment for rings and rollers. For any additional information on material, surface and thermochemical treatments, please refer to the related RKB educational videos or directly contact our engineers. The issue of the limiting speed in the full complement bearing design was significantly reduced by inserting the RKB reinforced AVH case design. We recommend using the AVH execution in applications subjected to severe conditions, where the internal stresses generated by the applied force are propagated through the entire cage base structure. For further information regarding the RGB reinforced AVH design, please watch the AVH cage educational video available on the RGB website. By adopting this design, the bearing can operate at high speeds and accommodate heavy radial loads, even if the number of rollers is reduced to allow for space to mount the cage. In this case, the cage requires about 25% of the space between inner ring and outer ring, thus reducing the load carrying capacity and the basic rating life. Anyway, despite the outer ring of the NJ design bearing has two integral flanges, and the inner ring only one, without a retaining ring at the flangeless side as the NCF design, through our multi-objective software tool based on evolutionary algorithms, we were able to compute the optimal geometry to achieve the largest carrying capacity. In order to evaluate the carrying capacities of both bearing designs, we used our MTDS software that, taking into consideration the latest ISO standards and the bearing in a geometry and design, calculated the static and dynamic load ratings. 
Thanks to the RKB optimization process, the carrying capacities of the full complement in AVH design of bearing series 18 achieved similar results, even if the number of rollers was reduced by 24%. Special care has been taken with the roller geometry of both designs by using ZB profile, which ensures an optimum stress distribution in the contact areas. Considering the surface finishing of the ZB roller, the lubricant film is maximized and the rolling motion of the rollers is consequently improved. Besides, for a better lubrication, the AVH cage was engineered with the lubrication axial grooves equally spaced on the guiding surface of the cage. To take full advantage of cylindrical roller bearings, RKB succeeded in combining the features of the cage design with those of the full complement design into a new generation cylindrical roller bearing type, the lamellar cage design. This type is mainly represented by NJ Bearings Series 23 that managed to put together the higher load ratings of the cageless design with the improved tubology of caged bearings. The outer ring is radially split and has an additional groove in the raceway between the ribs. By removing a roller from the full complement unit, enough space has been created for a lamellar cage to be fitted in the outer ring groove, in order to separate the remaining rolling elements from one another. As a result, the carrying capacity is considerably increased compared to cylindrical roller bearings with standard cage types. The new RKB lamellar cage has been developed as a disc with the rolling elements held in pockets that have a special teeth shape which contact the rolling elements in the middle of the roller symmetry plane. In this way, all the tangential forces are safely absorbed by the cage. Another important feature of the lamellar cage is the limiting speed, which is much higher than in conventional design. For this type of bearing, the roller guidance is done between the outer ring ribs with no direct involvement of the lamellar cage. This feature makes it suitable for a lower acceleration moment of the rolling elements, which decreases the heat generated in the bearing and allows for oil fill formation even at low speeds. With one roller less than the full complement type, the lamellar cage design achieves very good results in load carrying capacity, thanks to minor geometrical modifications. By comparing the two types of the Series 23, it's easy to notice very close results in terms of static and dynamic low ratings. On the lateral side of the lamellar cage, radial lubrication holes arranged centrally around the outer edge of the cage provide a perfect solution for a lubricant exchange. As regards full complement bearings, the gap between the rolling elements is small, which limits the oil flow in the bearing and may lead to temperature rise and limiting speed. The RKB NJGL lamellar cage represents the perfect choice for those applications requiring bearings with higher limiting speed, better heat dissipation through low friction and better lubrication. By their functionality, they are fully interchangeable with conventional cylindrical roller bearings from Series 23, the main difference being in the execution. In conclusion, in light of the long-standing experience of RKB in designing and manufacturing cylindrical roller bearings, it is important to emphasize that as regards this type of rolling bearings. In case of specific applications, it is essential to select the particular and most suitable bearing arrangement. In case of standard applications, each bearing configuration can be considered interchangeable with any other. And, as a final point, the evaluation of the bearing characteristics has to be grounded in clear and reliable technical information and not in mere marketing activities. Two additional features to increase the overall reliability and optimize the application are the anti-wear treatment for rollers or for both rollers and rings and the magnetic treatment for inner rings.
due to the tight fit on the shaft as a common condition. For further information in this regard, please refer to the related educational videos.